Built before 1945, Max's Bar and Cafe was one of the first structures in the suburbs of Quezon City. By the early 1950s, local customers started visiting Max's restaurant for their famous fried chicken and to celebrate their special occasions. The first renovation included the signage of Max's, which was made prominent in the facade of the structure. The second renovation in the late 1950s was an expansion to include the former residences of the Trotta family, one of the original owners of Max's. Between the late 1950s to the early 1960s, a major renovation was done, giving the facade a distinctly Malay roofline and used the iconic two dancing chickens to figure notably on the new facade. Max's has evolved from a simple mom-and-pop family-run restaurant into one of the best love brands in the Philippines and abroad. Along with the evolution of business processes and scale, Max's has incorporated a unified look that would identify the establishment and the brand. By the start of the millennium, Max's partnered with designers Buji Layog and architect Royal Pineda to translate the vision of the company to merge tradition and dynamism to be undeniably Filipino in the core values of family and hospitality, while responding to the evolving tastes of the contemporary Filipino dinner. The idea of working with an architecture that's very, again, memorable for the family. So what I, I kept was really more of the bones and the, the external architecture, but before it was a room up there and then solid rooms below, low ceilings, and definitely that you cannot, I mean, I could reach the ceiling of the ground floor. So what I did there is again, the principle of what the, the Bahay Kubo is, it's all about openness, it's about permeability. So we, we made the whole ceiling high to present the roof pitch that you see from the inside. Before you will not see that from the inside because what you see is a ceiling. But now you appreciate the architecture from outside and also from the inside because you see now the silhouette. And again, now you can see the height of the trees, the openness of the spaces of the garden, and uh, I simplified everything with the dark wood finish and really made it very light as a, as a structural element. So, presenting a modern take for that total interior renovation and the architectural refinement, I think it was a very, a very exciting and successful one. No? Because, again, what we didn't want to do is to lose the history and then you try to dissolve it with so many of the present. So, what we're able to do is actually just present the history, in fact, highlight it more, and then simplify. Simplify everything that was really added in the place. And, and then I, I think that that made the whole walk and the experience in that place very, I would say, to the point that entertaining, because when you just sit down in the dining place, you can just stare at the ceiling, you can just look at the garden, and, and there's that thing that you, you tell yourself, oh, there's something about the space that makes you feel good. No? So I think that's, that's one of the major items that I want to Maxis has gone a long way over 75 years of their existence. From serving steaks, sandwiches, and drinks at Maxis Bar and Cafe, to their now world-famous Maxis Fried Chicken. It has gone numerous renovation works to reflect a truly Filipino brand where family and friends get together for simple gatherings or to celebrate momentous occasions, creating memories that would last a lifetime.